A sign stands next to the last remaining buildings of Little Manila in Stockton. Much of what used to be here is gone, including the people who remember it. But the rich history is not lost with the younger generations trying to preserve what's left. I'd like to be defined by the ways in which we came and we stood back up. Little Manila Rising is educating people and bringing awareness about Filipino Americans in the Stockton area. Stockton has such rich history, but ironically, no one really talks about it. Like you go to school, like across the street, you learn about things that happen in like San Francisco, Seattle, um, American history. Little Manila Rising has been going on for more than 20 20 years. It started in 1999 when two newly college graduates, Don Mabalan and Dylan Delvo, came back to Stockton and found demolition equipment in front of what remained of the Little Manila community. After learning about the Filipino American history in the Stockton area, they started Little Manila Rising. What used to be Little Manila stretched for several blocks off El Dorado Street in downtown Stockton. By the 1920s, Stockton became the hub for Filipino Americans. Little Manila was a place Filipinos can be accepted. It was an unspoken law that if you were a person of color in the 1930s, you were not welcome north of Main Street. The organization Little Manila Rising started through educating the public and community, and six years ago, it became a nonprofit. They have several cultural programs and youth advocacy initiatives addressing social justice issues. The programs help students understand their history that's not often taught in schools and how to be advocates for today's issues. Being around Little Manila in general has just given me like a bigger passion for education in general and like helping people out and like it's just giving me a passion for like creating and like fostering a sense of community. The organization has worked to preserve the last few buildings left of Little Manila and raise awareness about the Filipino American history. Alongside their Little Manila after school program, they were instrumental in getting an elementary school named after Flora Arcamata, one of the first Filipino American teachers in the state and the first Filipino American woman to graduate from UCLA. It means so much, especially when you're moving further north, because I feel like the further north you go, the less representation uh, people of color in general have. And just to see something uh, like named after one of us up there, like it really does mean something. When I was growing up, I felt like, and I grew up in Southside Stockton, so I always felt like that's where I always belonged. Like it was really hard to make it out, especially if you're from Stockton. But if you have like representation in your community, then that's who the youth believe that they can become. The organization has become a close-knit community where many have learned to appreciate and understand their roots. And I feel like it took some time. It still takes time because I'm still healing from like generational trauma, generational anxiety, and trying to find like my place in the world and in the movement as a Filipina American. I think um, what makes me different though is like I'm not just a Filipina. I'm like a Filipina from Stockton. The younger generation with Little Manila Rising are continuing to advocate for the community through environmental justice, Black and AAPI solidarity, and immigration rights.